Well, today we have a mail call. I'd like to start out with Singing Toad. I received a couple of stickers from him, from his channel. We did a sticker swap and also this Happy Canada Day sticker. So I'd like to just say thank you for, for agreeing to do the sticker swap. It is always great to have stickers from other channels. I've got another item that came in. This is Rosecraft Blades. And this just came out very recently. The red bone on this is just exquisite. These knives are done to perfection. They're just incredible. I don't think there's any better value out there than what Rosecraft is doing right now. Let's check out the centering. As you can see, that centering is absolutely spot on. You don't feel transitions on anything. Let's see if there's any gaps. Get this to focus. No gaps at all. And even look how that spring is, is terminated there. Everything is just done to perfection. Usually you don't see this kind of quality until you spend several times the money. So these are just excellent. And for a carry update for today, I've made a few new things that I've been carrying. And I made a couple of new knife slips. I wanted to try the angled design on the top, which I know J.O. has done this and Richter has also done this have the angled top with an eyelet. But I wanted to combine it with the cut corners on the bottom that I like to do. They let the slip expand more, so the knife will come out easier. Just, it, it lets the knife bury deeper in the slip. I just like that design a little bit better. So that's the first slip I've made. And this I've been this is the knife I've been carrying, and I'll be carrying it for the rest of this month at least. I love this knife. Um, it's a Rough Rider Reserve, and this uses D2 tool steel for the blades. I also made this slip. It's the same basic thing, just different color thread and silver eyelet instead. This one isn't hasn't been used yet. Then the last thing that I made, I got to pull this camera up just a little bit, is I was in need of a new wallet. And it took a couple of iterations to get it right, but this is what I've ended up with. Show you all the way around it. This works great in, in either a front or a rear pocket. It's got a little strap across here that holds the flap in. And then it'll hold all your cards, um, cash, miscellaneous other stuff. And as you squeeze it, see it's got the cut corners on the bottom. So as you squeeze it, it expands. So you can expand it and pull your cards and fan, fan them out, which I don't want to do because I don't want to show anything that's in here. And then you just tuck the flap back in. So I've been carrying this for a couple of days now, and this wallet has been incredible. This has been the best wallet that I've ever had. It's very small, it's very sleek and slender. You don't even know it's in your pocket. And like I said, either front or rear pocket, this is perfect. And the knife for today is a Spyderco Stretch 2. It's in K390. This has been an incredible steel, this K390, and I wanted to carry this again for a few days. I also have an Indela in K390, and that is a pretty pretty nice knife too, but it doesn't have the choil up here. It's got a little bit of dead space. I call it wasted space in between where your the handle is on your grip and where that edge starts. But with the choil, you can get a grip up closer to it, so you're right on the blade. It gives you more power and more control in cutting. So I like this one with the choil better. And I also like that this is fatter than the Indela. So this handle is a little bit more hand filling. 
So this is, to me, is a much better knife than the Indela. I like this a lot. I'll be um, putting this in a rotation too, as I really like K390. It's an excellent steel. It holds an edge for a long time. And I'll be curious to see if I can get this to take a patina. I'll have to start cutting some different meats and fruits and vegetables and stuff with this and see what happens. I don't know if it will take a patina or not. So we'll find out. And we'll give you an update on that and a review on some of these other knives of this stretch too. And the Rough Rider Reserve. And also this new knife by Rosecraft Blades. We'll see you next time.